Good afternoon. It is 12:40 p.m. on Saturday, the 19th of October, and it is time for today in my boo journal. How are you? Are you having a good day? Are you all right? Good, good. I'm glad to hear it. So last night I did my day face cream before I went to bed. Uh, challenges I did do, didn't I? I did both sets of challenges. So I can fill that in. Uh, so challenges, I did not have booze. I had less than a can. Uh, I had chips. I didn't craft about today. I did about today as well, didn't I? Hi. Hi. How are you feeling? Are you all right? So, are you okay? <laughs> what else is next so I don't know? That. I don't know. We just talk after that, don't we? We just tell them what we've been doing today and what we did. Right, so that we did. That size is your size. Is that my size? I wish. And I okay. will size that mine. Um, I didn't weigh you this month. I have to weigh you next month. Um, steps. My vertigo is playing havoc with me at the moment, and I feel really, really dizzy. Mine, you had to do my size. I have to do your size. Yep. You are Daryl size. That's what size you are. So I was really, really hopeful today because all week I've had to like wait down a laugh and I've struggled and you know and all of that lot. And I thought I'm gonna lie in tomorrow. I might even get to like eight o'clock. No, no, half past six. Daryl woke up this morning. I nearly shot him. I was not impressed. And I want to. Right, let's. How long do you go wait you are? Too early, that's how long. Oh, great. Yeah, that's what I thought. Right, today I have done my day face cream. Um, I'll be hey. And this is my colour with it, you wish. <clears throat> you, you are uh, Right, let's do a card. Take some time for yourself. The world is at your feet. R&R is key. And it says I stayed in bed till 9 o'clock, but I was not sleeping. That's the trouble. 12.45 until... Six. It's a good night, otherwise. Just an early morning. Lou is done, laundry is on. Which you might be able to hear in the background. And that's pretty much it. I haven't got anything in for this weekend. I need to find out if Wendy's on tonight. Okay, so let's jump to a little bit of journaling. Daryl came home with another injury form yesterday. It's apparently some little angel threw a uh, mini whiteboard at him and hit him on the face. Told about it, he just came out with this form in his hand, no explanation from anybody. And I'm sorry, but when things like that happen, I think the parent of the child injured should be notified as to what punishment happened but no i wasn't just giving this form and it didn't even detail who it was that did it um he told me who did it just said um caught on right cheek with a whiteboard he says that this other child threw the whiteboard at him because now they're off for two weeks so by the time i go back it's just gonna be a bit pointless isn't it really so Okay, so we've got a bit of cloud and a lot of sun. So we're going to take Doggy out, we're going to go and grab some tweet, and then when I get home, I'm going to film a couple of, um, well, a haul video or a Happy Mail video, and um, 
some um, review videos. So a high of 15 and a low of 7. Sunrise was 7.33 and sunset Mommy. is at 6.05. Mummy's talking. Can, can I go outside with my windmill? Uh, yes, just be careful with it, please. Yay! I will be careful with it. Okay, right, so challenges. What are the challenges for today? Skulls is the writing challenge and a black flame candle. Oh, it's just a little bit of hocus pocus. I actually watched that the other day. It came up, it was on the, um, I, I have catch up TV, I don't have regular TV. And um, I was flicking through trying to find a film the other day. And yeah, that, that, was, that was on there. And I was like, oh, hocus pocus, I love that film. Absolutely love it. So uh, yeah, I'll sketch that up later on and um, Easy peasy squeezy lemon squeezy. Um, oh, I have a photo to do. That can go in here. Because it's a nice day and I took a photo of my fence this morning. So, while well, that's printing, that's why I write my word. There we go. I'm getting better at this. There's a reflection from the window. Oh well, never mind. There will be more photos next year as I um, get the garden going in the spring, you know. I'll sketch in the candle and I will be back tonight. I hope you have a fantastic day. I'm off for breakfast. I'm starving. See you later, guys. <laughs> my brain just went then um, I haven't really done much today uh, we went down to the shops grabbed pizza for dinner put the dog down there we were going to go down to have breakfast uh, and by the time we were ready and we'd wandered down there it shut it was like it's two o'clock we want like you know mid afternoon full English but they shut at um, half past one on Saturdays apparently which I thought was just really not on you know I want my breakfast so um yeah right no makeup no challenges I've not had booze more than a can I've not had chips I have crafted what I've done today craft wise is um <clears throat> I've got this um Delphonics pouch that I keep all my pens and stuff in. I'm pretty sure I did a review on it ages ago. And these pockets inside were all this big, which was great until you stuck a load of pens in and then it all pooched forward and it was really, really winding me up. So I halved the pockets because they were all like, it was basically two half pockets on each side. So I then halved them again and I just got, I turned the bag inside out and I got needle and thread and same sort of colour um, I hand sewed up the middle of each of these pockets I think that one's a little uh, less even but it actually worked out really well because it means all of my pens are together and then there's actually a barrier there and my water pens go there which is quite awesome and then I measured over here and I made a pocket big enough for my um, double sided tape runners and then my craft knife and my small ruler can go in there. And then over here I've got, just got, you know, a bit of odds and sods, double sided tape there and, or no, sorry, my invisible tape there, um, white out and a syringe. I've got a new glue stick today. Aldi's doing an offer, two, two pack. And then just some pens and a bone folder down there. And um, yeah, it's just given me so much more space. And these are no longer pooching forward, which causes the whole thing to tip because there are more pockets on this side. I mean, you've got pockets this side, but they're big. So they've all got quite small things. The heaviest thing is probably this pack of pens. Because these tend to pull it one way anyway, and then all of these started, but the whole thing just kept falling over. And it was really starting to do my head in. So yeah, sewing that up, it just makes these look so much neater, which I really, really like. So that, was, that actually took me quite a while to do, but um, 
I did it while we watched planes this afternoon. And then I just put everything, well, I like to cut empty the thing out and then I put everything back in and yeah, so I'm quite pleased with that. So that now sits over there out right the way. Right. Anyway, let's get on. My hands are really dry because I've just washed the dishes. Well, I've just washed what doesn't go in the dishwasher dishes. I'll put the dishwasher on for the night. Okay. Let's have a look. It also means I can find the pen that I want that much easier. Now, my mood. I'm going to say my mood is still there. Um, for those that don't know, I um, I joined Post Crossings a couple of months back. Um, you should know because I've you know sort of talked about the postcards and that that I received. And the idea is is that you sign up, you give your address, and you register and you're allowed to begin with to send up to five postcards and as soon as your postcards are registered as received you then start receiving postcards in return so everyone that you send you get one back yeah not necessarily from the same person you know you, you can put on there that you're open to trades and and becoming pen pals and that I, I said that i wasn't i just want to collect postcards so then i came up with the idea a while ago when i got the camera all right, I took some photos and I've got, I took this one. This is of um, a popular tourist attraction here. And uh, it's right up on the cliff and it's a restaurant. It's called the Culverhaven Inn. And I thought it was really nice. It's got the Tennyson monument behind it. I thought it'd make a great postcard. So I backed it with some card, even stamped it, wrote the address and I gave myself some more room. So instead of doing the line right down the middle, I moved over a little bit, all right? So my line would usually go about there. Excuse the state of my nails, but I'm picking the gel off because I can't bother soak it. So the line would usually go about there, and I'd put the address there. More than enough room for the stamps and yeah, my stickers and whatnot, and they're all right over here. It was One of them was received in Poland, and she wrote that she was disappointed I had not sent her a real postcard. That was it, no thank you, no, you know, appreciate the effort or anything, but just, I'm disappointed you didn't send me a real postcard. So I commented on it because you up you can upload your postcards. And she'd scanned it in and it was a really, really bad photo. So I commented on it and said, you know, wow, how rude and all that lot. And then another Polish woman came on and said, well, I'd be disappointed too. So I said, well, I know not to send to your area then. I was trying to think of a word, a way to say it without saying, well, fuck you lot over there in Poland, then I'm not going to send it. But because I, you know, I just said, well, I know not to send it to your area then. And then a German woman come on this morning and put that it was ugly. It's cost me more to print up and stamp those than it has to actually just go and buy a fucking postcard. And I'm really, really upset. Now, everybody on my Facebook and my Instagram said, oh, what a bitch, you know, I'd love to receive something like that. But you're all crafters, <laughs> you know. And I'm there going, Ugh. So I think what I'm going to do is um, get some generic ones to send and then um, look at people's bios to see if they're open to receiving handmade postcards. So I bet you none of them bloody well are. So yeah, it just, it really upset me really, to be quite honest. I was just like, you know what? There's just no need to be rude. You could have just said, look, I'm, I don't want you, you know, but there's these other two people that I don't even fucking know to come out of nowhere and comment on it as well. It was just shit really. So, yeah, anyway, what were we going to do? Oh yeah, we're going to draw a candle, aren't we? Right, let me just quickly sketch this in then. Went for a nice walk out in the the sun, it was really nice. Dog was going stir crazy because she's not been out much, so yeah, it's nice to get out and about. Oops, good stuff over. So, yeah, there we go, that's us all done. <laughs> yeah, um, tomorrow you guys want a lettering style workshop for the live tomorrow night um, ok 
okay. It'd be handy if you left me some comments down below as to what kind of thing you're after. Do you just want me to show you how I do the alphabet? Do you want me to talk about pens? Do you want me to talk about the best way to learn? Um, I mean, I'm talking, assuming you're talking about this kind of writing, not the calligraphy that I've been doing. Um, I, I, can, I can have a go, I don't know. <laughs> um, um, and we'll go from there. So, yeah. All right, there's not really much more I can say then, is there? That's it for tonight. Uh, thank you so so much for joining me you know that I always 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 appreciate you guys joining me um, please feel free to give me a thumbs up I would really really appreciate that and a comment down below would be lovely as well um, and don't forget to ask kisses um, click the book down there in the corner and you will be subscribed and if you hit the bell that then appears down below you'll be notified when I upload new content I hope you have a fantastic rest of your day and I will see you in Sunday's live Today in my budget, we'll be back on Monday. Take it easy, guys. <laughs>